Think of it as a clean canvas, and you're about to paint your picture, and your picture is a development. I've had a fair amount of contact with developers. They are the classic American character imbued with a sense that we're going to reshape the future, and it's going to be fun to do, and we're going to get rich. <laughs> The American dream is somebody wanting to get out and build them a house with a nice yard and a fence around it. Everyone was doing great, and all of a sudden, all the banks started failing. Here we are, the largest loan and the largest savings loan in Texas, and it goes down. How does this development benefit the city in a way that six years of failed and empty developments have not? At the same time, we have an environmental movement taking off. And how could it possibly compensate for the loss of Barton Springs? You don't want to fight a war on two fronts at once, and I found myself in that position. I see the same thing happening in communities all over the country, where you have an interest in a quick return on short-term investment that will destroy something long-term. It's when that profit evaporates what's left but a scar and a memory. Environmentalist bank development is evil. And if you do this, you're going to anger Mother Earth. We are an American group of people who are used to owning property and not used to having a bunch of some bitches tell us what to do with it. Bush swept into office with what appears to be the biggest margin. Growth itself is not the enemy. It is the nature of that growth, the quality within it. I mean, we're trying to deal with that force bigger than all of us, here longer than all of us, that designs something that still is mysterious to us. Well, that's the spirit of something, and it's best reflected in natural places. A God that gives them great abundance at times, and takes everything away at times. <laughs>